Okay, so I had a uh, new project that I've been working on, uh, finally finished, and it's this uh, air cleaner. Uh, I had the idea from a guy on the interwebs uh, that uh, was using it in his shop to um, to help clean the air after dust collection and and all that. And I have a lot of dust down here because I've just got a shop back. Um, so in everything else. It, it's, it's bad. So, um, this was the idea. So I built this out of all scrap wood that I had in that big pile over there, which is still really big in some of that pile. So I had a uh, buddy of mine who, um, his parents were replacing their uh, HVAC, uh, their furnace, and they, uh, or I asked him, I said, uh, can you give me the old, uh, furnace fan um, whenever they replace it and of course he obliged so what I did these are just little hardwood um, it's cleats or whatever and the filter just lifts out so I put a, a furnace fan motor in here and uh, so it draws from both sides. There's another filter right over on the other side. Um, but I had a terrible problem trying to uh, get this thing to run. And to spare um, a really long story is because this thing was a two, 220 uh, instead of a 110, which I don't know, it was plainly written on the side of the motor whenever I was reading the schematic and I just missed it. It happens. So it has a uh, capacitor get it started and I don't know if it's just a start capacitor or capacitor or start run capacitor no idea but uh, it's two speed fan and I've got it wired up uh, on the low speed right now um, which is uh, the, the two 110 feeds are the uh, red and the white and I've got that up to the switch it's a uh, I've got a, um, a feed on each pole so it actually turns off both 220s or both 110s and um, of course it's wired up to the extension cord and uh, I've got a little zip tie down there to keep it from coming out um, and I wired a uh, 220 outlet um, same thing just 110 to each side of this outlet and uh, it goes back to uh, actually goes to a breaker or a junction box just in case I need another feed but it goes here to uh, the 220 breaker so just 110 on each side coming out of there um, I put uh, like I said all this is scrap wood just I have some three quarter inch plywood I have some half inch I have some regular pine uh, this up here is poplar um, this is leftover laminate that I had um, I, I painted it with uh, um, paint that we had left over from our uh, I believe it was laundry room and it's just regular latex um, paint eggshell and then to protect it I put a couple coats of uh, um, poly polyurethane just uh, water based polyurethane on it so that turned out uh, turned out really well um, and it moves a whole lot of air so that's uh, that's the end of that one. It'll be uh, it'll be on to the next one. I'll spare you. Uh, well, I guess I can turn it on. <clears throat> you can see how much air it pushes. Just flip the switch. And let's see. Let's see if I can do it. See here, it's moving my shirt. I can feel it all the way across the shop. I have it over there. It's hitting the wall over here. So it seems to be doing a good job. I'm pretty happy with it. Blowing everything around over there. All right. Well, that's it.